Well, after the last episode, we had a very serious slug fight with the Ottomans, and I think it's about time we uh, got to war back over here in the east, start uh, consolidating our claims. Well, we don't have claims, but this is my land. You already know it should be our land, and so we'll make it our land. But uh, yes, hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. Welcome back to EU4. Welcome back to the Ruskies. And uh, hopefully everything has been going well for you. I hope your lives have just been pleasant and... Uh, you know, hopefully things have not been too stressful for you. I certainly wish the best for you guys. So what we're going to do here is we're going to get these guys occupied as quickly as possible. And uh, since they're a step horde, they walk very quickly. 20% movement speed. Which goes on top of the buffs that the AI already gets for being the AI. Because the AI has hidden movement speed buffs. And anybody who says otherwise is a paradox shell. No, I'm just kidding. But they do definitely cheat. You can't convince me otherwise. Very good. Get you guys over here. We just need to kill off all their armies so they're not going to be sieging down a bunch of my clay. Speaking of, let's uh, continue to upgrade these forts here. Should probably build one like right here as well. Yeah, that's good. Go to speed five here. We don't need to be, you know, tiptoeing through this war. Georgia, dude, are you joking? Did we not, like within the last few months, finish a war against these guys? They have 92,000 men. Really? Really, Ottoman? Okay, well. Okay, I guess we're going back. 6-6 six, six general, I will take it. All right, well, let's uh, head on down here then. We don't need to be force marching though. Well, in that case, let's wrap this war up. <laughs> so annoying. The Ottomans are the most insufferable AI in the game. Change my mind. I was talking about that in the last one. It's like people like apologize for the Ottomans being so strong. They're like, no, I, you know, it really does kind of make sense when you think about it historically. The AI, were, the, the Ottomans were very strong historically. So it makes sense that they'd be very overpowered in the game and make them the most insufferable AI in the game. It's like, yeah, okay. All right. Makes sense that they're literally never fun to play against in a video game. Your logic is dumb. Uh, let's get these guys over here in a state on uh, defensiveness. Get you guys in a state on defensiveness. Basically, I just want all my forts over here to, you know, have defensive bonuses because the Ottoman cheat and win sieges very quickly. So, uh, matter of fact, we have governing cap, so we might as well actually start stating some stuff up over here anyways. So let's do that, especially stuff that's in our accepted cultures. To be honest with you, I'll just... Yeah, we'll just core it all. Look at that. How about it? We're still years ahead of time on tech, so it's no big deal. That will help our economy out quite a bit as well, because it'll lower the autonomy over here. So we'll siege down Crimea over here. We will uh, win some sieges. I would like to full annex this guy. We'll see if that's actually possible, though. Yeah, it's not possible. So what I'll do is I will actually just take his forts instead and isolate him inside of our nation. That's fine. These guys over here are uh, going to be running. <laughs> and so I'm not going to be able to catch them. Kind of standard. They are literally sieging that fort with 50,000 men because of the AI. So George is on this siege. Kind of annoying. I don't have mill access through Moldavia. Doesn't look like I'm going to get it either. Kind of dumb. Okay. These are both mountain forts, so both will be good for us to have. There we go. Get you guys down here. Once we win that siege, we should be able to peace out. Should be good. And, uh, yeah. Their professionalism is going down. They were at 50. It's actually gone up, but uh, it's okay. So money for burger loyalty. Yeah, I think I'd rather lose clergy loyalty. Fine with me. Do not care about this war literally at all, but there's nothing I can do about it. I have to just accept the fact that it's there because I'm not going to break the defender of faith on him. Um, we'll do a little bit of deving. Don't need to take it, especially if you're not going to get innovativeness. There's no point. Bro, give me mill access. Dang it. Right, let's get over here. 
See if we can fight them on a mountain fort. That would actually be super good for us. Actually, there's a mountain fort right here. So we can't. <laughs> We're not allowed to. Right. These guys are going to get... Um, Circassia is in the war. They are. Very good. Let's let them lock in over there. and How about it? How's that for a stack wipe? So we'll just do the same thing here. These guys are being annoying and blockading me. Hopefully they march some men up here. That would be great. Yes, there we go. Perfect. There you go. Force march over. Ooh, they got some reinforcements coming in. That's a no general stack there, though. Yes. Heavy losses for them. All right. Very good. That's uh, oh. medium enthusiasm. Could you uh, tell me why, Paradox, they're on medium enthusiasm? Because they occupy a couple provinces in Siberia while they're full occupied? Army reformer is dad. It's fine. I'd rather have the discipline, to be honest with you. So it's fine. More power to the nobles. Sure. Oh, wait. They're attacking me? What the heck? Um. Okay. That's fine with me. Look at that. <laughs> no, no, no. Why you do this? Why you do this? What are you doing, dude? Look at this. They're just so... <laughs> consolidate oh no, no they <laughs> yikes all right um so let's not have you guys these guys are force marching so these guys will group up they'll be there on the 11th these guys will be there soon after that's stupid that is so dumb yikes all right well i like that that made me very happy if you guys couldn't tell by my dopey ass laughing uh so these guys are full occupied they are somehow on medium enthusiasm. Okay. I guess we just wait. I mean... You guys do not have the option to not peace out. You're full occupied. You should go on medium or low enthusiasm ASAP. Let's uh, reinforce these guys over here. That is a mountain province they're attacking me in. So... With a river crossing even. Nice. Yes, baby. This is a win for me. Win, win, win. All right. Let's get down here. We don't need to be force marching. Damn it. Actually, I do need to be force marching. And they're going to catch me. Stupid game. Nah, that's horseshit. I don't believe that for a second. You can kiss my butt. All right. So. Let's have these guys come over here. Scorch this province, and uh, no need to force march. All right, they're attacking me. They will not be here until after the monthly tick. These guys will be there long before that. Don't even need to force march over. Very good. Get there a day or two after. I meant to shift consolidate there. That was an accident. I'm still going to... I'm going to lose this now. Yeah, they just have too many men. But they took super heavy losses. Look at this. Like, 170,000 men. And they still haven't lost any professionalism. Why are you guys not willing to peace out? Okay, now you are. This game is stupid, man. I, I got so infuriated about, like, the AI's random logic. Like, wh what is that? What in the world would tell you, you know what? I think we don't need to peace out of this war. Get real, dude. Let's let's use our, use our common sense, our critical thinking skills. I know, I understand the whole, like, to the last man mentality, but damn, bro. We still don't have access over here. That's dumb. That's so wild. All right, anyways. Let's get you guys over there. That's fine. It's fine, lads. It's fine. The whole point in most of these wars is just weakening the Ottomans. Georgia wants an ally. You know, Georgia... I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. You guys over here. Let's get them off my forts. Oh my gosh, they have 100,000 men over here? What are you talking about, bro? They literally have 100,000 men in these provinces. Why? And 
fling all the way to Moscow. All right. We're going to lose that battle again. They're still taking super heavy losses. And I flip. Why would they ever flee one province over? Why would that happen? Things like that make me want to quit campaigns. Things like that make me want to uninstall this game. How is that still in the game? How is that still a thing? That should not be a thing. Wow. I just lost 60,000 units. <sighs> Whatever, bro. Fix your game, Paradox. Fix your freaking game. Anyways. That just took so much wind out of my sails. I won't lie, lads. That kind of just ruined this whole this whole run for me. I'm <laughs> Wow. So infuriating. You know, they're going to reinforce, but we sh eh, I don't know about this one, actually. Especially if they start popping their 50,000 men out of the fog of war. Yeah, we're going to lose this one, too. Yep. All right. Yeah. Sorry. That uh, specific little bug right there is like the most triggering thing in the game for me, honestly. It, uh, and, and, oh, I have 66,000 men just standing here taking 3% attrition or 2.5% attrition. They've lost 200. All right. They've slackened their standards once, so. Makes me feel a little bit better about it, I guess. I guess. I had a 6-6 general on that stack that got wiped as well. Just FYI. Give them their reinforcement. Let's reinforce them there. There you go. That's how you win a siege there, a fight there. Get down here to the hills. Oh, here you go. These guys are on Crimea. And now they're not on Crimea anymore. All right. Let's get these guys force marching. Catch those stacks here. You guys will not siege down Crimea. I promise you. Uh, can we get there in time? Nope. Oh, so stupid, man. All right. Those guys are attacking them in the mountains. I don't think we're actually going to get there in time. Just kidding. I do. So that's how you, how you do that auto man. All right. Let's have these guys head over. Oh my gosh. We're maxed out on Diplo as well. So let's take tech and then let's uh, do some deving. There we go. Easy enough, right? Same with uh, mana or male mana. Nice. So we're getting 2,900 manpower a month and they are gaining 22 still. So that's great. We still are out manpowering them. 7%. All right. I'm forced marching. And I really don't want to be, but I kind of have to be. They're still going to win that. They're going to win that 28%, aren't they? No, their siege ability is very good. So, so crazy. All right, here we go. That is a absolute whooping. Very good. But they're going to be able to flee all the way over here. But once we occupy both sides of the straight, we can actually just do whatever we want now. Um, This is scorched. Yes, very good. So they will be there on the 21st. Okay, apparently they will not get over there in time. So the Ottomans have lost 300,000 men. They're on medium enthusiasm. They're like, you know what? We might be able to make this happen. They're not, the numbers just like don't change at all. <laughs> there you go. They're uh, spending all their military, their professionalism, which is good for us. So let's see if we can bait them into some bad fights here. Leave like a half stack there with no general. So if either one, if they attack, we'll, we'll be able to beat up on them. 
So, Conquest of Imoretti. All right, so they actually don't have the war goal, which is hilarious. I would love for them to attack me. That would be very good. No, 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 no. Get out of there. Don't take all that attrition. We'll just take our 1% over here, right? So here we go. Yep, if they want to attack me, they can, but uh, it will be at their detriment. They will get absolutely clapped for it. I don't know why they're doing that. That doesn't make sense. I think they're probably actually taking much more attrition than I am over here. Well, that's not true. Eh, maybe they are. I don't know. I can't believe we never got mail access through here. That's crazy. All right, well, let's see here. They have the war goal. Norwegian separatists in Bratsburg. Yeah, that'll happen. Let's, uh... I hate that so much. Why? Why is that a thing? All right. Let's get you guys over here. 10 stack is probably plenty. Just need to... Um, I mean, I guess I can just bait them into heading in there. They'll be there on the 24th of March. I will not... All right, I guess we're going to have to cut them off then. Oh my gosh. They're going to reinforce, aren't they? Okay, we won that. Very good. So if they want to attack me, that should be an easy clap. Very good. And uh, they took that province very quickly. But we have the war goal back now. Issue is, is I can't really siege down these, these mountain forts. It's going to be absolutely devastating for me. The issue is, is I also don't want to peace out because I want to destroy the Ottomans. I really want to destroy the Ottomans. <sighs> this is frustrating, to say the least. I want them to get off this fort here. So we can get back down and siege it back. Obviously, we want the icon of St. Michael. Hopefully, we get over there. Very good. Look at this. Look, what is this? What is this? How many? Why? Why? Look at that. They just took like... They just lost like 15,000 men to attrition. For no reason. Uh, not 15,000, but a lot. What are they doing? How is that sustainable for them? They did it again. So hopefully this war, we can just drag it on long enough that... Um, we'll be able to... Um, completely destroy them. And make it so they have zero professionalism from now on. So they'll be there on the 8th. And I can be there... Way before that. Is anybody going to be there before the 8th? Nope. Alright, 8th. So as long as I'm there before the 8th, we win. Right? Alright, they're locked in. So let's head on down. And they accept the peace with them. A white peace, even. I was really hoping to uh, do some auto-bopping. But I guess we're not going to do that today. Until he attacks somebody else. Until he attacks another... Another... Um, one of... Another one of our faith. Latassamoa. Always take Latassamoa. The governing cap is just too good to not take. Now I'm also going to add this province here to the trade company. And upgrade it. No reason not to. That'll just help us steer more trade. Alright. And our truce with the Ming is up. So we should probably get to war with them. They're... Let's holy war them because I may actually take some clay here. And let's get down here. And uh, now that we've got our galleys over here, are they all upgraded? Yes, very good. So now we can just blockade the crap out of them. Very good. Get you over here. Have you just march on Beijing with a general? Of course, we need to be responsible. Wait, just kidding. Let's get you over there. Very good. And they have ships that are right. They're allied to Ainu. Of course they are. Why wouldn't they be? Didn't even look at that. That may actually be good because that'll allow us to get on to... Um, that will allow us to get on to... Um... Right. So what we need to do is pop these guys out here. Steal maps of Japan. Yes. Then, you know, I think we will actually land men on Ainu and annex them. That will give us Holy War on Japan, and we can start working on that. And that will give us some more trade that we can steer um, from Nippon, which would be good. What in the world? Huh? 
Defensive mentality. Yeah, okay. Well, that's smart. Can't knock him for it. I just can't believe how um how much these guys are absolutely getting clapped. So, it feels good to beat up on the Ottomans, though. I will say that. Beating up on auto is like one of my top 10 favorite things to ever do. Especially considering that they absolutely cheated and wiped out 60,000 of my men. Get you guys over there. I obviously don't want to lose that province. Let's have you guys split so we're not taking a bunch of attrition. These guys are marching over eventually. You know... This low mandate... Oh, they're, they're gaining mandate if you didn't see that. So they will... Oh my gosh, yeah, their economy is going to be trashed. They're going to have a bunch of national unrest. Their manpower modifier is very low. So the more men that we kill, and I think it also affects mercenary, right? Mercenary manpower. So the more of their men that we destroy, the better. They will not be able to over to come back from it, basically. If we kill their armies, their armies are going to be dead forever. Forever. Get you guys up there. Force marching, of course. Kill them all. Destroy the child. Very good. Give this to Finland. Is that a wipe? Yes, it is. Very good. So just like that, they're um, they're basically done. They have like no man men left in the field. 70,000 men. And I have 62 just here. So we're good. Uh, Yeah. I'm not worried about it. Truce so of these guys will be up very soon, actually. But I don't know if I want to handle a war with Ming at the same time as... Eh, you know, Poland is pretty weak, to be honest with you. I think we can manage that. That's fine. This is Hills. We have a general, though, and uh, Separatists tend to be pretty weak. Yeah, I'll get them. We need to continue getting... We've been deving a ton, which has been really good for our... Uh, Has been really good for our uh, whatchamacallit. Crown land. Livonian peasants. Don't care. Truce with you guys is over. Let us holy war. Let us split and you. We do not need to be force marching. There is no reason for that. Have you guys come over here. Let's get some more generals. Have you guys come over here. One more general. Three siege. Let's go. I can be over on generals. I don't mind a whole lot. Have these guys force march down and hopefully wipe out this 21 stack. Free admin mana. Awesome. Free admin mana. Awesome. Definitely don't need that. I'll take it though. Being ahead on tech is good. Gives us a uh, production efficiency. Very good. Finland. Get you guys full occupied. Devastation is going to start rising again. Did it? It did that thing again, didn't it? <laughs> so stupid, man. Manpower and Cossack loyalty. Thank you. Uh, I have no general over here, apparently. Oh my gosh. I really get so tilted about these like bugs. Like they fixed one thing by quote unquote fixed it by making it so the AI isn't supposed to be able to walk past forts on war deck by making it so you now also don't even walk up to forts on war deck anymore. So very annoying 62,000 men zero manpower or 4,000 manpower which is essentially zero have you guys come over there look at that mm, very good Finland this is an absolute destruction if I've ever seen it we won the siege of Krakow as well Finland let's have you guys carpet siege down over here we got to track down those poles and uh, get rid of them. Heading down to Bessarabia. Nice. That should be a clap. Norwegian particularists. I don't care about them. They mean nothing to me. All right. So we also need to carpet siege over here. Absolute destruction. Let's uh, have these guys head up there and kill off those stacks there. I'm not worried about them sieging it back because their siege ticks will be very very long. 
Very good. That's a 12 stack. That's about to get absolutely gone. They're going to commit not alive anymore. These guys over here. Look at that. 50,000. They had 70 a minute ago. So, yeah, we're doing okay. They don't need to be force marching you. You guys will come over here. Give this one to Finland so I don't have to pay for it. And so I'm not uh, worrying about the defensiveness. Here we go. Did I uh, tell you guys to go here as well? Thank you. Lots of little stacks over here. 42,000 men left. Not bad. There's 15 of them right here. Let's uh, have you guys ca caught out here. Oh, that's mountains, actually. Where are you going? Steps? Yes, even better. <laughs> so that should be a wipe as well. When you get low mandate, they just turn into absolute paper. So in this war, I would like to take all of this. And I think I'd like to take Beijing. And then I would like to take all of your money. Yep, that's the war. That, that's the peace deal we're going to go for right now. So I'll give the give those forts back to Finland so they can't take them back. And then let's have you guys come on down and start carpet sieging. No force march necessary, of course. These guys are getting occupied. You got decent stacks over here. So... Let's uh, take over that that siege. That's one of my favorites, is taking over sieges from the AI, or from rebels. Uh, don't win! Very good. Yes, so that means we'll be able to kill these guys and immediately win the siege without sitting on the fort for more than... Look at that, 100%. Not bad, right? So, there you go. Something like that. Get on here, win this siege. You got 37,000 men over here. Hold on, what you doing, man? What is you doing, baby? Let's get our doom stack over here grouped up and uh, time to come kill some poles. The deluge is underway. Let's get our general, 6-6 six, six general over here. There we go. These guys are winning sieges over here. Very good. Yes, yes, yes. Now, I would like to fight them in the grasslands if at all possible. This is way better for us. Yes. Catch these guys here. One star general versus three star general. Something tells me it's not going to go well for you. Get you guys down here. These guys won that siege as well. All right, so for this war, I would like what I have claims on at least. Should probably take that as well. Something like this. So is this part of that state? It is, very good. So that's what we'll take. Very good. And, uh... Not bad. There you go. We're winning sieges over here as well. How many men you got? <laughs> Not many. Is that a nine stack we're going to kill? It is. Yes, please. Yes, please. And uh, continue converting everything over here, of course. We want it to all be orthodox. I want to convert all of it to orthodox. So is this province a trade company? It is. Let's get, get rid of that so we can convert that. I'm sure that's bothering people. Bothered me when I saw it. Again, Finland. Finland. I don't want any of these forts. It will give me the truce that I'm looking for very soon. Especially as I continue to full occupy you. They're like, no, I'm feeling pretty good about this war, I think. I don't think I will. Peace out. There we go. All as as it should be. Sieging down Plock like a legend. Get you guys over here and kill them in Warsaw. We won Plock. We won that kind of quick, actually, which is nice. Give that to Finland. Long episode. I forgot about my timer. So we're going to wrap this war up here. Very good. Very good. 
Over overextension I actually didn't look at. 110%, but not actually because, you know. Interesting fact about Pripyat, it is where uh, Chernobyl is. Or was. Let's turn off these edicts as well. Turn off that edict, of course. We don't need that one. No edict and no edict. Very good. Now, is it still 100? Ooh, 101. Really? Hey, we spawned global trade. I wasn't even trying. I forgot about it. Nice. Global trade is here and uh, it is ours. So, let's see here. Right, this province is over here. Let's unstate it. Yoink. There we go. That'll take it below 100. Core all, and uh, we'll core up the rest of it as we can. Obviously, overextension is the one that really matters. Hope you guys are enjoying. Uh, this episode is uh, what I would say quite good. We punched Lithuania and took even more of their clay. And uh, now we're going to make our first steps here into China. So we can release a vassal down here if we'd like to. I don't know. I'm not super keen on it, but uh, I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Tell me what you think about the campaign in the comments as well. And if you want to check out any of the links to uh, Twitter, Discord, uh, subreddit, anything like that, it's all linked in the description below, as well as my Patreon. If you have it within your means, you want to support like a true Chad, all that linked in the description below the video. That's all I got for you for today, though. This is Chew Shoot. I'll catch you guys later.